I want to do a wonderful shout out to our Patreon supporter, Taylor Miller, for making all this possible. Thank you so much, Taylor, for the support on Patreon. You are a beautiful Numkin. You are a fantastic Numkin. You are a wonderful Numkin. And I hope you enjoyed the turtle related shout out in the video last month. You are just phenomenal, amazing, super nom, all those things. And thank you for supporting us on the $50 tier. If you guys want a customized shout out, there is a slot available currently on the $50 tier. Check it out. Lots of cool stuff you can do there. I can shout out your YouTube, your art. As long as it's within YouTube terms and conditions, I can shout you out. Or just give you a thank you like I did to Taylor right now. I also need to shout out our producer, Alice, of course. Alice, you're a beautiful Nomkin. You know you're a beautiful Nomkin. Thank you so much, as always, for the support. Alice and I will be playing Resident Evil Outbreak File 2 multiplayer on Twitch this month. So make sure you're following us there. And uh, make sure you're following Alice. Add all the links on screen right about now. Anyway, enjoy this video to Random Horror Games. Hey guys, it's been a while since I've said this. It's been a while since I recorded. I've been super sick for like a month and a half now, but hopefully got to the root cause of the problem and I'll be feeling better soon. I am suffering from the tail end of COVID right now, but I'm feeling a lot better. Just going to take it a little easy. It's going to be a variety video of some different horror games. This is Beast Watch Meat and a Mayhem. Let's press any key and check it out. Look at that. Big, throbbing meat. I should probably look at the settings. Oh, looks good. I know. I know I'm running at 30. Actually, let's see if we can run at 60. Fuck it. Uh, gameplay. No head bob or things like that, unfortunately. Well, only one volume slider. Let's begin. I do like some good meat, so... You know, let's see what happens. Hey! Hey, wake up! Oh my god, is it Navi? I can't believe you're sleeping. I understand it's your first day on a night shift, but come on, you're a young guy. You should be able to stay awake, no problem. Come on, cheer up, this isn't so bad. I know that working as a night watchman in the slaughterhouse isn't exactly a dream job, but we're in the offices, nothing ever happens around here. We'll say, speak for yourself. Dream career after YouTube, night watchman in a slaughterhouse. What could go wrong? I've been taking care of this whole area for almost 30 years now. I'd like it to be in good hands before I retire. And maybe I could teach you a thing or two before that. Ha ha ha. You know, Pretzel doesn't like this. You know, I started working as a watchman in the slaughterhouse, but after a few weeks I requested a change to the administrative section. I couldn't stand all that horrifying screaming from the animals. I even heard them in my head when I was going to sleep, and they started to give me nightmares. But look at me now. I've been an office security guard for a lifetime, and I couldn't be happier. Who would have thought, right? Ha ha ha. I didn't sound good. What was that? Get up. We have work to do. Come on, follow me. This guy's gonna die. He was only a week away from retirement as well. He's got a very interesting walk animation, this man. But look at that dump truck, holy shit. Don't worry, I'm sure it was just a rat in a ventilation duct. Or a killer sentient cow bursting free and uh, massacring everyone inside the slaughterhouse. That's the other option. There's no, in there's no other in-between. Do me a favor and turn on the lights in there. Okay, why, why, why did you need me to do that? He is dead. Hmm. I didn't see anything there. Yeah, told you.
Ooh. I'm getting messages on my phone. Oh my god. It's my wife. Give me one second. This is very important. She's in America right now. Alright. Let's get moving. You might hear my phone go off a few more times. Like that. That was just Chrism telling me she loves me. Did you know that? Chrism loves me? Oh my god. That sounded like a pig. I thought it was a cow, but that sounded like a pig. That is definitely a pig. Can't tell if this is working or not. Well, that took up a lot of my health. 55 health already, holy shit. All right, that's some pistol bullets, but I don't have a pistol, which is uh, probably the best way of dealing with these things. That or a nail gun. Well, that guy did a lot of damage, he was a chunky boy. This is clearly a trap. Well, right about the trap. Well, they kind of deflate into the floor like little balloons. Blood spray reminds me a bit of Turok on the N64 there. Very jammy. Alright, four bullets is a lot, unless I'm missing the headshot and I'm getting the hitbox wrong. Which is entirely possible. Question is, how... Oh my god, she still says she loves me? Oh my god. Anyway, sorry, getting distracted by my numkin. It's closed, I need the basement key. They seem to have got in from the slaughterhouse into here. Oh, I hear more. I'm worried about being snuck up on by a pig. A stealth pig. There's definitely one in the gents. Oh, we've got floating blood puddle there. Lovely. I really want some urinal ammo. I feel like that's the best flavour of ammo. Tastes like delicious urinal cake. I don't like that. Did I pick up a key already? No. Where am I going to find a basement key? I feel like the office would be the main place to find it, but maybe not. Yeah, all these doors are locked. There's got to be something in the toilets that I'm missing. Like a big poo. It must be in the gents too, because there was ammo in the ladies. Alright. Nothing in the sinks. Always oh, a vent. Spooky dookie. I don't want any vent pigs, they're the worst kind. Alright. We got around the big door. Can we open it from this side? We can. Our little peats get very excited when we sprint. Like, holy shit. They're like... Alright, full health again. There definitely is some kind of headshot mechanic. But I'm a little unsure on the hitboxes. Should I be killing everything? It's a sales report. It reflects a large increase in revenue over last year. I'm guessing some new growth hormone in the pigs 
that has made them super pigs and our greed as a corporation has got the better of us. The classic story, you know? The growth hormone in the piggy poos. I don't call pigs piggy poos normally, I promise, by the way. Sort of stress that isn't a usual thing in my vocabulary. I do wonder if it's just going to be pigs. I mean, I feel like Meat Factory is probably just specialise in one kind of animal. Although I don't know. I'm not really an expert on them, I'm going to be honest with you. Oh, wow. That was bad. There's a lot of wasted ammo there. They're having a little bit of problems here. Alright, well that's the cafeteria cleared, I guess. What is- oh, that's the key! Oh, can I go through here? Hey, there we go. Basement key. Why is the basement key in the cafeteria is probably one of the most pressing questions I have here. It's closed, I need the emergency stairs key. Guessing the basement's gonna hook back around to here. I like the little inside garden. Very nice. Very nice indeed. You're sitting there, having your coffee, eating your bacon. Free bacon, by the way, for working here. That's the reason I signed up. And, uh, you know, just relaxing. Oh my god, I'm obsessed with this character's feet sound. I should rate the feet sounds of every video game protagonist that we come across, guys. Because it's such a key part of the game. You know? How adorable the feet are. Alright, you have used the basement key. Well, I definitely hear more piggies. It's closed with an electronic lock. Ooh. Took a bit of a hit there, but there was health right away. I hear ya. Oh wow, that one's really excited. Never mind. I hear ya. I heard him and he still got the stealth hit. He still got the fucking stealth hit. What an arsehole. It's a fuse box. Maybe if I cause a short circuit, the door of the electric lock will open. How do I cause a short circuit? Whenever I think of short circuit, I think of the adorable 80s robot short circuit. Yeah, I'm not sure how I do that. So far this is decent though. A decent little pig shooter. What's through here? Nothing. And this door's locked, right? How do I cause a short circuit? Oh, a wrench. Maybe? You have picked up a wrench, there we go. Didn't- I couldn't press E on it, I had to mount it. Everyone here's mounted a wrench, don't even fucking lie, alright? Oh, that's not good. I wasted quite a few shots as well. Piggy? Piggus? Be my friends. Be my piggy friends. Emergency stairs key. Well, we know where that goes. We have unfortunately cut the power, though. Which might mean more pigs in the darkness. Trotters at the ready. Oh, 
like that. That scared the shit out of me. The only reason I didn't scream is if I scream, my COVID fucking throat is gonna explode. Probably another one here on the right. No? Again? Alright, well. I like the lighting, it's really nice. Wish I could have some bacon right now, let's go. Uh, this door. We use the emergency stairs key. We're not even in the factory at the moment though, this is just the offices, right? The impenetrable staircase barrier in every indie horror game. How could we possibly get past a full, few small tables? And one soda machine. There is no ele- oh shit. <coughs> I'm still gonna be coughing a bit occasionally, guys, but... My cough is way better than it was when I was doing the videos last month. Which is good, because I don't know if I could do another month like that. Because it was fucking awful. I spent most of the Pacific Drive video just dying. It's closed, I need the office key. I swear I heard one open the door. Gotta be more in here. How am I gonna restore the power? I shut the fucking wrench in it. Could be ammo, and maybe some deep, meaningful lore. Let's worry about the ammo. On these tables. Wrong about the deep, meaningful lore. But that shouldn't be that surprising, really. Alright. Hmm. So what's the purpose of coming in this room? Thing is, it's quite a big room, so it could be easy to miss a key. That said, everything, like, all the keys and stuff have been really, like, obvious so far. Like, it's been well... guided. Guessing the store's locked. Oh no. Ah, there is some lore here. The results in the research area have been widely satisfactory. There has been a 500% increase in meat production, and we have plans to double that amount with the expansion of funding for the laboratory. Okay. Well, not quite what I wanted. Another lovely little garden there. Um, but yeah, definitely something to do with... Uh... Where am I going to find the office key? Definitely something to do with... Uh... Growth hormones. <coughs> I had to watch a video to do what to do here, and it's really dumb because I should have realized this. But you can break through the glass and continue through this door that I didn't see. Wow, that was a bit clutch. I also, something I didn't realize is this game has no save points, so if I die, I die in real life. That's how that works. A lot of enemies in here, by the way. The AI isn't great, fortunately. Like, if they swarmed me there, they'd have had me. I mean, they are pigs, I guess. So I shouldn't be... ...too surprised. I don't know if we can get in there. I'm gonna guess the office key is gonna be around here somewhere. Maybe not. Oh no, there it is. Office key picked up, excellent. Let's go. Should probably look around for ammo on the way. If I don't have ammo, I will definitely not be surviving, because the damage these guys do if they hit you, it's relatively high, I mean it's not insane, 
but like, uh, it's pretty high. Doesn't look like there's any ammo in here, fuck. Could have really have done with a little boost here. Oh well, this does look like a way to go, but I don't think I can quite fit, yeah. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. Do I want to go down here first? I feel like this is a trap. Cunningly disguised as a massive trap. You know where the office key goes? I wonder if this just loops around. Be good if it did. Just the dead end. I will say, like, um... There seems to be quite a lot of health, like, that I didn't need to pick up, so that's good as well. I do like old-school first-person shooter type stuff, like, I wouldn't say this is, like, dripping in atmosphere or anything, but it's, it's fine. Definitely enemies in here. I wanna know- did they come in here and then use the key? And then slide it under the door to one of their piggy friends, maybe. There are a lot of pigs in here, holy shit. There's still more. And more! I need ammo. That was a little intense. This is where they were all hanging out, apparently. This is like Pig Central. There's more. I mean, it's just as well they're absolute fucking idiots, but still. I thought pigs- I've watched Babe. I thought pigs were meant to be smart. God, I actually really like that movie. Especially the end credit song, it's so cute. Oh, power back on. We can use the elevator now, right? Probably. Still no bullets, by the way. Which is a teeny bit concerning. And by a teeny bit, I mean kinda bricking myself right now. Well, that was eventful. It still goes up. No, it doesn't. This is definitely where we're meant to be getting out. Ah, we're just past the impenetrable barrier. There we go. Game saved. Oh, I guess they added saves from perhaps the last time. Well, perhaps the dev took that on board. I wonder if we're near the end. I have no idea how long this is, by the way, so. Can I break this? I can, for ammo. <coughs> Alright. That's good. We have... I don't know what that is. A sheep? It was like a spider sheep. Um, noise they make at close range is pretty unsettling, I'm going to be honest with you. Wow. Quite a big area here. 
I don't know what the fuck that was, but it looked like a sheep. Maybe. I mean... There's a lot of them. I have no bullets. What am I the fuck am I gonna, the fuck am I gonna do? Like I say, at least it's good they're idiots. Why did I do that? Why did I waste a fucking clip? Oh, hell yeah. Oh yeah, that's what I'm fucking talking about. I picked up storage key. And I've got a shotgun with two bullets. Excellent. And, uh... Ah! Jesus Christ, you fucking asshole. Took off a bunch of my health and scared the shit out of me. That was my best attempt at not screaming, and it actually came out okay. I think it's a sheep. I'm gonna die here, I think. There's another sheep in there. Yeah, there is. I might go looking for ammo. Doesn't seem to be following me. Although I'm not optimistic about finding any, I'm gonna be honest with you. I feel like that is the way forward. Oh, this is bad. They're everywhere. They're everywhere and there's no fucking bullets. Come on. One of you vans, give me some bullets. I'm scared, guys. Oh, I used the storage key. Storage of bullets? Bullet storage? I think we can get through that glass, look. Otherwise, why is it there? I'm dead. Yeah, no fucking way. Some health. But no bullets again. Oh, you're here. Oh my god. How did you get up here? When did that happen? I've got some shotgun shells too. Holy shit. Things are getting quite intense. Oh my god. I didn't think that was possible, but we did it. I had picked up the truck key. I wonder if we can just leave with it. I assume no. That'd be a bit too easy, right? Hell yeah, though. At least we got some more ammo. Fuck. That was a fun little, uh, little section. Pretty intense. Question is, if one of these trucks is accessible, which one is it? I guess this one? Maybe I can use the truck to get through the wall of the slaughterhouse. I'm going to need the keys to the truck and some gasoline. Okay. Well, we can kill the sheep in here now pretty easily and search this area, so let's go and do that. And hope we find something useful. That was an intense little fight. There's a pig in here too, I can hear it. Alright. Ammo. Thank fuck. Gotta keep an eye out for those crates now, I keep missing them, I suspect. Probably fine, there was way more ammo than I thought there was, but I kept missing the crates because I'm an idiot. Alright. God, press will just scare the shit out of me. 85 health, not bad. Pretzel was like moving around in the hall. I was like, is it a pig? No, it's just Pretzel. Who is a nomkin, but probably isn't as smart as Babe, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna save the shotgun. They do 10 damage a hit, which actually isn't that bad. First time I've actually noticed the damage properly.
Gonna have to go back to the fucking uh, thingy in a minute. Um, shotgun. Oh no, I'm not, because I just found a bunch of ammo. Excellent. That was probably worth it for the ammo. Probably. We need to find the gasoline anyway. Trying to save ammo. Oh, he beat the shit out of me at the close range. More ammo, but... Mm. I need the documents room key. Alright. Panicked a bit there. A lot of enemies here, I can hear them all fucking whinging. The speed that fucker went around the corner. Holy shit. Oh shit, move. Reload, reload, reload. That would have been so bad. I really hope there's health around here. This area sucks. It's really intense. There's health. Documents key? Maybe. Let's just check the ammo and shit in these. How many of these lockers don't have a fucking door? God, the facilities here are shit. I think with these record profits from all the fucking mutant beef we're selling, you know, things would be alright, but apparently no. There's the documents room key. Got a decent amount of shotgun shells at the moment. I can't remember what the documents room was, to be honest with you. There we go. Farm activation codes. Sheep farm 5684. Pig farm 4701. Cow farm 6348. I'm guessing we need to put that in somewhere. I should have a notepad by my desk to write shit down from video games. 5684. 4701. Let me put it on my phone at least. Fuck me. <coughs> I'm so bad at remembering shit, guys, so if I don't do this, like. Okay, you can fuck off. I'm trying to add a document to my fucking, fucking phone. Alright, so 4701. I do have dark mode enabled, guys, just so you know. Just so you know, I'm not a fucking psychopath. All right, six, three, four, eight. And what was the first one again? Five, six, eight, four. All right. Let's get our butts in gear. That said, farm activation codes, where the fuck do I put them in? Oh, over here maybe? Like this looks like a big barn. Oh wow, this place is huge. Hi Pigoos, how you doing? I don't like this at all.
I wonder if we had to put him in here. Why is there a sheep in the pig farm? Jesus Christ. A lot of crates to bash. Feed me ammo. Yes. Please don't hit me through the wall. I know you're thinking about it, enemies. They know I'm here. Have my shots got more powerful? It feels like they have. I'm assuming this is the correct way. I mean, we still haven't found the gasoline, so... Worth it for the health, 100% to smash these. Worth smashing all of these. Tell me if you would smash in the comment section, chat. I'd smash. I'm guessing this is where he put the code in and maybe it kills them all. Uh, for pigs, it was 6384, I think. No? 6348. Well, let's try them all. That one. If I fall down this ladder and die, I'm going to be so fucking pissed. So what does that do? Did he just open? Oh no. They're behind me too. Oh my god, fucking die. Oh my god. Jesus Christ, that was bollocks. Here's the gasoline. I need health so bad. I need ammo so bad. Not gonna give me any of them. This is not a good place to be. That was a lot of enemies. I'm not even going to try going that way, I'm going to go and just put the fucking gasoline in the fucking truck. Oh! Got a save point. Which is just as well, considering my uh, current situation. Got some health. <laughs> Trying to preserve ammo like mad here. One bullet left. That was some clutch shit. Holy shit. 
I'm gonna say we probably need to jump across these to get to the vent. I will say we're in very good shape. Or uh whoever the fuck we are. Night security guard. Question is how do we get up? Like Can I do it from on there? Yeah, probably. Get on the fucking thing. Come on. No, do it. There we go, that's much better. No, it's not. I don't like platforming in first person games generally. I've said that a lot though, so I'm not gonna dwell on it. Like, this is fine. It's not fine. It sucks. I fucking hate it. It's because it never feels right. Oh, yeah, like, my fucking legs are too long to get to that last one. What the fuck? Alright, last try before I do a jump cut. Oh, wow, that was a lot. That was much higher than I thought. Alright, did it. In the vent we go. Where the fuck are we now? I mean, we have no fucking ammo. So, wherever we are, probably a bad place to be. There's a shortcut. I say a shortcut, we're probably never going back there. Pressel agrees. Well, that was bollocks. Again, Pressel agrees with me. The boiler room key. Yeah, I have no fucking ammo or health here, so... Actually, I do have some ammo, right? Yeah. No, I don't. <sighs> this is tough. Getting very tough. I need bullets. Not going in there. There's no way I'm surviving this. We're doing this all over. Did one of those die? No, they can hit me through the door too. Not a good situation. Come on, health, please. Nom nom nom, nope. Ammo, please, health, take it. Ammo, please. When did you get in here? How did you get in here? Are you from the the other room down here? Dead here, surely. 15 health, fuck me. Give me something more, game. Give me a little bit more. Nah. Oh, nibble to death. I will say, these are some bollocks checkpoints. And you don't get your health back? I don't know if I can beat this, guys. Like, what the fuck am I supposed to do if you don't regenerate health at the fucking checkpoints? That's, like, actually impossible. I guess I should start using this to fight the piggies. Kill the piggies with melee, and then deal with everything else. 
Well, everything else. The sheep. There is cows apparently as well, but we haven't come across those yet. It's alright. It's alright. Got this. Fucking don't fuck with me, game. I shot you in the fucking face. Alright? But yeah, game big time needs more ammunition to be, uh, like, a lot better. Big lack of it. I feel like I regenerate health sometimes. You know? Don't go in there and take massive damage, obviously. I know I have bullets, by the way, but I'm trying to save them for the sheep. Fucking- are you fucking kidding me? Come on. Both of you. Let's have it out. Took damage, God damn it. Alright, there's health in that room. I don't know if the sheep just spawns in, but we'll find out, I guess. No, I must have got free from the other room. What's in here? Oh, it's a locked door, so nothing at the moment. I hear a fucking cow. Guys, I hear a cow. Wasted that shotgun shell because I brought out the wrong fucking weapon. Fucking die! Jesus Christ! Fuck you guys. Fuck you. You I hear a cow. Alright, okay. Please give me something good. Please, please, please. Yes. Yes. Wasted a bullet, but at least I got him. I feel like those bullets from those things track you, which is very frustrating. It's alright, we'll go back and get the other guys in a minute. More shotgun shells. Alright, that's probably the way forward. Let's go and clear out the other area. Definitely feel like we're in a better position than we were last time, you know? Please die. So there's at least another one in here. Piggy in here, right? It's right for the last time, you fuck. There's definitely another guy. I heard a cow. I heard a fucking cow earlier. Health, or ammo, both would be excellent, would be both, but I don't think I'm going to get anything. Oh, I've got shotgun shells. Alright, okay. Probably was worth it for the, for the ammo. Alright, okay, we're alive. I definitely heard a cow. I'm freaked out. I feel like the cow's going to be like the big boss pulling all the strings. The cow was like the brains of the operation. Boss, mad cow. Really glad that I had this out. Boiler room key in here? I mean, I know that's what we're looking for. Hi. 
There's the boiler room key. I feel like a cow is coming. Oh shit, I know where I am. That was actually a pretty good level design, by the way. They're all looped around very sexily, very smoothly. There better not be anything fucking down here. What is with this? Hi, it's the cow. I am fucking glad. I am so fucking glad I had a fucking shotgun with five shells. Or I probably wouldn't have done that. I really hope we get a save. Soon. Because this is really stressful to play. I, in kind of a good way, like... I'm enjoying how stressful it is at times. I'm assuming there's no bullets in here. I need the meat process. Oh god. Well, that's the final, right? That's going to be the final area. Another cow, I'm going to guess. I don't like this. Yeah, I thought so. Well, I'm out of bullets, but at least the fucking... They're kind of stuck, for now. Probably gonna die again. This is getting really bullshit. Like, really, like, unplayably bad at the moment, this is getting. I don't know what to do. There's too many enemies. Oh my god, this is insane! How can I kill you all? I can't feasibly do it, it's impossible. There's like fucking 90 of the fucking things. Well, I'm gonna have one more try, but I'm not optimistic about beating this because this is ridiculously hard. Alright, I've got past here with a bit more bullets than last time. And I can actually loot the crates in here now without dying, although there's nothing fucking in them. What a fucking troll, by the way. There's just so little resources. Pretzel's angry. I'm angry. But it is what it is. Pretzel, I love you. But I wish you weren't being quite as boofy today when I'm trying to focus. I've got to try and take these guys out with these, but the problem is, if they hit me, I'm just fucked. Alright, where the fuck is the sheep? <sighs> I need health so bad. Alright. I could probably handle this. Okay, better than last time. We're not in a terrible ship situation. Got bullets. Give me some health. <sighs> Thank fuck for that. I think there are a lot of sheep upstairs, right? I vaguely remember. 
I haven't seen another cow yet, but, but there's bound to be one. Can't fucking hit him. They always fucking hit you on the strife, the fucking sheep, which is really obnoxious, but things are going better. Here's the key I needed. The meat processing area key. More enemies to come though, as we know. Maybe not? Oh yeah, because I ran into the ones I'd already I hadn't killed. So I did get through this bit. Holy shit. Alright. Whew! I'm exhibiting, for me, by the way, incredible levels of patience right now. Like, normally if a game kills me and I have to replay more than three minutes, I will never play the game again. But, I'm exhibiting good stuff. Just wish there was a checkpoint again. Gotta be a cow. Glad about that. Guess we're gonna go along the meat line? I hope it's a new area. I hope there's a boss, and then that's it. Because I'm kinda done with this one now. Oh shit. Full health? Pass is meat. How the fuck would I do that? Meat. Mike, you're always forgetting the password, so I left you some equations so you won't forget it again. I know you hate math. I, I hate math. A, E equals A minus 3. M equals T minus A. I can't do this. T equals E, X2, A equals 7. Alright, so if A equals 7, okay. E equals A minus 3. So if A is 7, that means that that is 4. So it's 7. Hang on, wait a second. No, it's blank. 4, 7. M equals T minus A. I don't know what T is. T equals E times 2. I need to write all this down. I have discount clear, guys. I, I can't do this kind of shit very easily. It really, really fucks with me. I hate when there's math in games. It's just... It's like another language that I just will never understand. Alright, so... It's gonna be X. Let's start again. E equals A minus 3. And we know A is 7, so it's 4. So, blank, 4, 7, blank. Okay, press is going to start boofing again because the neighborhood dog's boofing. T equals E times 2. So that's 8, because 2 fours are 8. See, I told you. So it's something 4, 7, 8. Right, so honey, M equals T minus A. So that's 8 minus 7 is 1. So it's 1, 4, 7, 8. I really hope this is the end of the section, by the way. 1, 4, 7, 8. It is the conveyor belt active. I'm being moved automatically now, by the way. <coughs> well, this is something at least.
Game saved. Thank fuck. Oh, great. Fifty percent damage from that, by the way. This is brutal. There's no way I'm surviving all this. No fucking way. Especially when you fucking cheat like that. Jesus Christ. God damn it. Alright, give me a minute, guys. I need to close Brett's lap because she's being so loud I can't focus. I don't really know what to do here. Oh my god, we made it, we made it, we made it, we made it. Please be the end of this shit. It's the end, but there's no checkpoint. Why would why would you want a checkpoint after that? Why would you want why wouldn't you want to do it again? Access blocked. Unlock from the main control panel. Wonderful. How do I get the fuck down there? Oh, no full damage. This is Definitely a cow. Okay, we don't know the password. Excellent. Cow, come on. Maybe not. Maybe at some point. What is what is this shit? Can I get up any of these? No, they're all walled off. What the fuck? Ah, some are locked maybe and some aren't. Bet they're all locked. But I'm missing something here. So where we came in, access is locked. How would I know the fucking code? You know, that's the thing that I'm concerned about. I say concerned. It's a strong word. I don't really care that much. Yeah, I don't see any way of, uh... of getting a code for this. Like... How the fuck would I know what it is? It's not one, two, three. Oh, maybe just like the ones that we're standing on, 202. It's worth a shot, right? 202. Definitely a cow, come on. I'm waiting for another cow fight. Do I want to go in? I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking go in there, aren't I? Okay. I'm actually doing alright for health and ammo, because that last section was just based around uh, dodging and shit. Oh, fuck me. Alright, there's a cow there. Yeah, we just have to go towards the cow. Always go towards the cow. Don't go into the light, go towards the cow, alright? I've got a horrible feeling these are all going to open up, and about a million enemies are going to come out, and I'm going to have to do this entire section again. Can I kill you while you're in there? Doesn't look like it.
or I'm just gonna leave. I can just go. No fucking way. The game just saved as well. I'm probably gonna try it for a bad ending here because I'm gonna do something like to the cow. Like fuck it. There's a van. Oh shit, they're out here as well. Oh shit. Oh my god. I wonder if we're near the end or there's going to be another massive fucking area. Well, there's normal pigs here, so let's not waste the fucking... Probably worth it. Come on. If we get them all like this, it saves a bunch of ammo. Definitely can't fight the others like this, but like... This does okay. I don't see another fucking, uh... The cow didn't really seem to do anything to me, which I find the funniest. Like, it was like... It definitely was inside me. I was probably impregnated by that cow, I'm gonna be honest with you. I say a cow, it's a bull, maybe? I don't fucking know. Do people eat bulls? Or is it just cows that we eat? I don't fucking know. To be honest with you, or care. Oh god. Give me meat. Alright. I feel this is very sussy. Alright, that area was fine to deal with. I'm gonna get the gun out in case I get, like, mobbed by a fucking cow. Definitely is the preferred way of killing them, it seems. What the fuck is this? I mean, other than probably bad news. What the fuck am I doing? Under here? Yes. Unless I just broke the world, which is entirely possible. Oh no, we got an escape rope? Who the fuck put this here? Surely this isn't going to be the end of my adventure. That actually nearly made me shit myself, I'm going to be honest with you. I hope I haven't coughed too much today. I think I've done all right. It must have been really annoying. Are you fucking kidding me? I don't think I can hit any of them while I'm up here. There's like a fucking... I need something to help me get down from here. Are you fucking kidding me? What did I fucking miss? And where the fuck is it? And do I have to go all the way back to the other fucking area to get it? Could I pull the other rope up? Maybe. This seems completely unnecessary. It is. Probably gonna get sheeped on the way. Yep. Fucking shoot it! Well, the hit detection's just so garbo sometimes. Alright, now we have the rope. We can go down into a massive fight again. Excellent. See a lot of sheep this time. Hmm. 
I've got six pistol bullets left. Oh my god, fucking die. Just no hit detection sometimes, it's nuts. There's so many, what am I gonna fucking do? The answer is definitely melee all the fucking pigs, I'll tell you that. Bound to be a bull at the end of this as well. Cow, bull. Yeah, probably shouldn't use that anymore. Holy shit, we're culling the herd here. Alright, come on little sheepy, come on. Little sheep chan. I know you're there, with your little, little furry bum. Gonna be a bull. I'm waiting for the bull. Where the fuck is the bull? I think I just saw it, there it is. Yeah, it's running around in the background. The damage they do is the first time one's hit me, and the damage they do actually isn't that insane. 25. It's pretty bad, but it's not like the end of the world. Any more bulls? Alright, we're on the side of the tower now at least. More health. Definitely needed. Excellent. And more bullets. Okay, good. I think taking out all the pigs with a melee weapon is pretty much a must if you want to have enough ammo to get through the game like at a reasonable pace and not constantly die. Obviously there's some sections that are based on like just dodging the fucking shit, but still. Sewer level? Sewer level. You need a rope. No checkpoint though. The areas are just way too big for the lack of checkpoints that they have. Oh, I'm glad I did that. Just needs that quality of life. And I understand, like... Um, maybe not wanting people to save everywhere. Maybe just have save rooms, you know, like Resident Evil style. That would be fine. Like, I don't mind having preset places where you can save. I don't even mind having limited saves sometimes. Like, that's like, it's, it can be a bit shitty if they're not well thought out. But, um, I panicked there, by the way. That's why I wasted a fucking pistol round on that guy's face. But still. I do wonder if there's gonna be a big boss to all this, or we're just gonna fucking just get there and be like, fuck it. Sheepy is there as well this time. Shippy. That was bad shooting by me there, Jesus. Do I want to hit this? EX, EX... I'm guessing that's the compound they used to make everything into the fucking super... Super animals. God, this is a puzzle, isn't it? Fuck me. Can we ban puzzles, please, as well? Ban puzzles in video games. Ban first person platforming. Ban lack of checkpoints. 
These are all on my list. Okay. Band Tower of Hanoi puzzles. And sliding puzzles. And safes. Unless we can get every game dev to agree on a universal way that safes in video games work, safes need to be banned as well. Okay. We got a list. We're gonna make the list. We're gonna add to it all the time, alright? And then we'll eventually be able to, like, plan out the perfect video game. Basically, in my case, one that just plays itself so I don't have to do anything. I'm joking. Kind of. Alright. I'm not entirely sure what that was worth doing. I'm guessing we need to just use these now to get round. So we change the water level again. And then we can go down that one. Now we've unlocked these doors. Yep, that was actually very simple. Very good. I applaud that. Nothing too bullshit. Alright. Gonna keep this out. Just got a feeling. Oh no. There's like fucking 20 valve puzzles here. Are you fucking shitting me? <coughs> well, here we go. That did something somewhere somehow. Nothing to do with that one though. Definitely feel the game's overstayed its welcome right now. I would say should have ended like Fuck, nearly an hour ago, I'd say actually, Jesus. This took me like 20 minutes. A fucking awful puzzle. Jesus Christ. Please give me a loading screen. Hell yeah. We are getting near the end of the game. We've now made it to the top secret underground military lab, as you can see. That every uh horror game about mutant pigs needs. Uh, we need the you know, level 3 access card. This might be the final area. I'm not entirely sure. Level 2 access card needed. I thought this would be a very relaxing game. This has been the opposite. I'm guessing we're going to run into more pigs soon as well. Yeah, I can hear them. Okay. Oh. Bullshit, that guy hit me. Hi. I wasted bullets there, but I kind of panicked again, you know? It's very easy to panic in this game, I will say. And that's not a bad thing. Got a, I got a key card, but I wasn't paying attention to which one it was because I kind of mashed the button. Could do with more armed guards in this facility, keeping ammunition in their lockers, I'm going to be real. Probably got the level 1 key. I'm guessing they're not going to give me the level 3 one right off the bat, so... Yeah, it's for this one. Alright. Hi. Oh, poor guy. Scanning. Biometric scanner failed. Please use a decontamination shower. Hi. Gotta have a nice decontamination shower. I hope it's a warm shower. Are decontamination showers warm? What What are they like? Has anyone here ever taken one? Like, I mean, I'm sure some of you might have done, right? I'm sure some of you work in a top secret laboratory. I was very lucky. No, I was not lucky. I thought I was lucky and blocked the shot, but the second one got me. Fucker. Oh, 
I'm losing so much health to the pigs in here. Not good. I need health. Are you fucking kidding me? There's just also just too many enemies. Like it gets, it just gets a little bit. It just like just fuck off, just fuck off. It gets to that point, and you shouldn't get to that point. I am so lucky to be fucking alive right now. I think I hit it in the head by pure chance. Considering its hitbox is like the size of the fucking moon. Are you fucking kidding me? Health is good. Health is good. Bit worried about ammo. More than a bit worried about ammo. <laughs> I'm glad the cow struggled with that. Otherwise I might have been in immediate, immediate shit. Poor little cow. Holy shit. Had to use the gun there a bit. There's just too many of the fuckers. It's gonna get backed into the fucking corridor and wrecked. A lot of the AI kind of gives up, which is good actually, because it kind of feels like you're playing like an old school PS2 game, where you can like exploit the game to your advantage. If that makes any sense. I'm a bit worried about my ammo situation right now. I know I've got the SMG, but um, it's not gonna last forever. All I want to do is take a fucking shower. That's all I want to do. This is it. Oh yeah. Oh, goes right up, right up there. Decontamination complete. Phil's is bad, but okay. You gonna get up? You're not looking too hot, I will say. Alright, level two. Which is back this way on the other side, I think. Yeah. I don't know what behind the big vault door, but I'm guessing it's probably pretty bad. Now we've been decontaminated, it's good though. We're all doing good. Holy shit, this is bad. Looking for moths, it's Resident Evil. I guess we're going this way first. I've really got to save ammo at the moment. Health's good. Game saved? Oh shit. That is the first time the game has had a mid-level save. Like, in the entire game. Which means this section must be bullshit. Oh yeah. I see what we have to do. That was not what we had to do. But, the game was very reasonable and gave us that save, even though I'm not gonna make it this time. Yeah, I couldn't tell where to go about.
So, I just did this section. I'll, I'll put it in sped up. It seems like you just had to, like, not touch the floor. It doesn't really matter where else you actually stand. Oh, shit. We finally made it. A new compound of unknown origin, Z613, was used in the 1932 war. After years of research, we've been able to synthesize the compound and refine it. We can control its mutagenic power and have increased production to unimaginable levels. Today, we begin testing a new, even more potent version of the compound. We are on the verge of making history. Good. Am I meant to know what the code is from the, uh... The smear. Did he write in jam? I feel like this isn't very helpful. I don't know if it's meant to be helpful. Alright, so I looked it up. I'm not sure where you're meant to get it from. But it's 1932. And we get the level 3 access card. The end is nigh. So is my health bar. I'm so fucking dead, guys. There's no fucking way I'm surviving this. Whatever the ending is, if there's anything that can damage me in any way, shape, or form, I'm dead. I'm fucking dead. I'm like, so, I'm so fucking dead. Alright. Here we go. I'm not entirely sure why I would have come here, I'm gonna be honest with you. I feel like leaving was probably a better option. That's what I would have done. I'd have left. Get in. Well, let's see, uh... I will say, I am very glad that platforming section had a save point, otherwise I would have, uh, lost my fucking mind. <clears throat> Reminds me of, uh, the opening of Half-Life a bit of this, and obviously not as good, but, like... Welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. I really hope if there is a boss, there's, like, health and shit. Surely there would be. Like, surely. Well, there's some health. No, there's not. There's shotgun shells. Ah, uh, there's some health here. <sighs> it's only one health pack. This seems like a really bad idea. I had a thought, can I actually break these? Oh my god. I could have been breaking these the whole fucking time, I had no idea. They were metal, I was like, nah, you can't break metal with a fucking stick. Okay, now I've got full health. I guess this might be the final showdown? Yes, it is. Oh, wow. What do I need to- I've got a checkpoint. Recharging. Okay. Do you think I just have to survive? Oh my god. Fucking die. I'm guessing we have to survive waves. Probably shouldn't have used all my shotgun shells there, I'm gonna be honest with you. Oh, do you think the button is recharged? So every wave we zap it, it is. Wow, deep throat that electricity, bitch. You see that fucking sheep? It just spat it out in midair. The 
persistent, I'll give it that. It is still being sick, I just realized. There's no point in using fucking melee here. It's just gonna kill me. Alright, just kill it. Fuck it, just shoot everything. I say shoot everything, but... I mean, shoot at it, but don't actually hit it. I do like the design of the big pig thing. It's pretty cool. What, a, what is fucking hitting me? Oh my god. The fucking sheep are the fucking downfall of me in this game. They're the thing that kills me almost all the time. They drop health sometimes. I think that's happened a few times, but it's the first time I've actually seen it happen. This could be the last wave, by the way. I feel like three hits is like the go-to, right? Oh my god! We may have done it. That may have been easier than most of the rest of the game. Looks like it was. Hell yeah, King Pig... Question mark? Dead. <sighs> oh, I guess we're trapped inside forever? That sucks. Music slaps. I know I've got 463 headshots, but only 216 enemies killed. 12 deaths. C rank. Um, I'll get my thoughts on this now. Generally, I thought this was okay. It's a bit... It needs quality of life stuff for the initial run. Like, I understand on hard mode, if you want to put in very few checkpoints. Okay, it's hard mode, right? But on the first run, I feel that the checkpoints created kind of an artificial difficulty that was pretty annoying. Like, it, it didn't fuck me over too much, but there were just some times where it was, like, a bit shit. Then, um, there's not enough variety of enemies uh, for the game's length. It took... My actual playtime here is about 2 hours 20 minutes on my recording. Um, I think that, like, realistically, if you only have the three enemies and the final boss, probably only an hour would have been a better length of the game. Personally, I think so, anyway. It did overstay its welcome a bit. If there'd been a bit of variety, sure, this time length would have been probably ideal, but th there just wasn't the variety there. Uh, basically, once you've seen everything, you've seen everything. Pretty early on, really. Um... I thought the first like 45 minutes in particular were pretty good. I like I actually really enjoyed it, but then it sort of started derailing a little bit and just felt a lit a little too long. And my biggest gripe, the platforming, it sucked. I was just just wasn't fun. Um, I hated it, absolutely hated it. Uh, but the overall game is pretty solid. I can't like say it's a bad game or anything like that. It just has some aspects that need to be improved or polished up on. So overall, I'm going to give it a 5.5, slightly above average. It is a functioning game, and if you 
like this kind of thing, you probably could get some enjoyment from it. I'm sure I missed like some secrets or some like flavor text and things like that. But uh, overall, not terrible, but not amazing either. That was Beast Watch Meet and Mayhem, and there's going to be another game in this video joining it very shortly. Wow, isn't this a lovely, welcoming start to this one? This is Y Village, The Visitors, which is a Turkish horror game about a real village, apparently. Inspired by a terrifying incident in Turkey, the game script is written by a professional film screenwriter. Between 1970 and 1981 one evening, a village whose name is kept secret was suddenly engulfed in fog. Along with the fog, a group dressed in black referred to as visitors by the village invaded the village. Curious about the identity of these mysterious people, the villagers who stepped outside to investigate disappeared along with the group. Following this event, the village experienced numerous disappearances and cases of insanity. The majority of the remaining villagers left the village. Wow. Our game follows a character named Batu, who visits the village for research. Batu's life changes one day when a mysterious letter left at his door after having constant nightmares about a village whose name he does not know. The letter contains only chilling sentences. Do you want to escape your nightmares? We are waiting for you. The next day, the mystery deepens. A second note left at the door reveals the name of the village. Why village? Afraid of the dangers he might face since he does not know who is calling him, Batu gathers a group to go to the village. However, as they approach the village borders, the presence of a sinister person in the gas mask scares the team. Everyone except Batu is frightened. The village in the game is entirely real. It's based on the existing village in Turkey. Most of the houses in the game are especially prepared to match the real ones. It's interesting. There's images on their YouTube channel too. Made by five people. <coughs> All right, let's check this out. Play. I've heard this game's about 40 minutes long, maybe a bit longer. Probably take me an hour. So we need to read to progress. I hate reading. No, that's fine. <laughs> oh wow, we gotta choose a, uh... oh dear, Batu, who consistently has nightmares about a village, whose name he doesn't know one day, sees a mysterious note left at his door. The note reads, do you want to escape your nightmares? We are waiting for you. And the next day Batu sees another note at his door. This time the name of the village is written on it. Why village? For him to go to the village alone because he doesn't know who is calling him, Batu sets off towards the village with a group. However, the team see a man wearing a gas mask and interest village. This is what I read already. Although... After seeing the mysterious man, most of the team gets scared and decides not to enter the village, getting out the car to return. Batu, who hasn't seen the man, thinks his friends are hallucinating for fear and continues on his way. It's probably not the smartest move by Batu here. Only one friend remains with Batu. Batu and his friend are greeted by a local of the village named Hassan. <laughs> Son offers them a room to sleep in the basement of his house. Up to this point, everything was normal, apart from the man in the gas mask, obviously. Until Batty wakes up to the sound of a siren at night. <sighs> oh. 
When Batty wakes up, his friend is not in bed. Will you be able to find your friend? Can you solve the mystery of the village and manage to escape? This is such a weird opening. I mean, at least we've got a lot of exposition that you'd normally just get on a Steam store page. Actually in. Wow, this is jittering a lot. I'll give it a minute. Might need to turn something down. That is an adorably huge papier. I will help you out. You have to trust me. Find the key and get out of this house. They put it upstairs. I saw them. Okay. And jammy print. Let's go. Oh my Allah, what's happening? I didn't see what we said, but, you know. Out of all the places I meme about, I have also actually been to Turkey as well. Although, definitely not like rural Turkey like this. I know nothing about this kind of thing. Got a VHS tape. Cesetlerinin bulunduğu söylenildi. 
Sonra sessiz sedasız onlar defnedilip böyle gölde sakin sessizce bir cenaze töreni yapıldıktan sonra o kayıp çocuklardan hiçbir şekilde haber alınamadı. Sonra çoğu ine ine işte hayvanlarını falan satıp köyü terk etti. Kimisi olduğu gibi balını, bahçesini, eşyasını bırakıp kapısını çekip çoluğunu çocuğunu aldı gitti ve sonra kimse daha köye dönmedi. Ara ara köye gidenler olduğunda hala o evlerden seslerin geldiğini, hala bir uğultu, hala akşamları sislerin bastığını falan söyler ama o gece gerçekten çok ciddi bir şeyler oldu. Çocukluğumuzda aklımızda kalan o görüntü hala ne konuşulur, ne anlatılır, ne büyüklere sorulur. Herkes ve kimse karıştırmayı, kurcalamayı gider bırakır. That was actually really interesting and well done. Like I'm actually incredibly surprised by the level of detail there. Um, it seems that there's a lot of custom, like, um, video footage that was shot for this game. Which is quite remarkable, really. Uh, they clearly cared about the lore and world building a lot. Someone's passion project, this. Pretty cool. That was less cool, but um, you got to make do with the assets you have, you know. By the way, it has amnesia doors, which is why I'm like smashing my face into the fucking doors all the time. Oh hi! Can I pick this up? You will die in the picture of Sonic the Hedgehog. Excellent. <clears throat> Sonic says you will die. Oh, hi. I guess you must be the son. Open the drawer and take the key. Don't forget to check all the rooms. You should never have come here. I wanted to scare you, but you don't understand. I know you're curious about who I am, but if I explain it to you now, you might lose your mind. You need to focus. Your soul and mind are the keys to getting out. Are you wondering why I'm helping you? I'm helping you because I want you to get out of here. Now go on the lookout hut. I'll leave something for you. Okay. I said in the drawer, right? I guess here. Yeah. Oh, I thought I. Th oh, this is kind of cool. I don't know if this has like chases or combat or whatever. I guess we'll find out. I'm gonna guess it's a walking sim though, which is absolutely fine, by the way. I I prefer. Mm, I say I prefer. Not all the time. There obviously are great games with chases. All right. The lookout hut, I'm guessing, is the hut that is slightly raised off the ground over here. Take this key and return home. With this key, you'll be able to open one of the locked doors. Open the chest inside the room and learn what you need to. Okay. The lighting on that window is creepy. I quite like it. There isn't many doors that I couldn't open, so... Fuck me, that actually got me. Stupid painting falling off the wall. Take the Quran with you, you'll need it, because against what's here, you can only win by strengthening your spirit. At the very least, you can stay alive. Okay. I think that this room was probably open before, and I just missed it. Here's the room that we couldn't get in before. It was a Sonic room. The woman in the tape you didn't, you just watched, didn't tell everything. After the major event, the village changed a lot and some of the families killed each other. In this chest is one of those families, a story of one of those families. Enter the code and open the chest. The woman on tape has given the answers to the question. <coughs> Which month did the visitors overrun the village? I don't fucking know. I don't want to watch the tape again. Your right has expired. What? Are you fucking kidding me? 
That is bad. Like, it's just shite quality of life. I don't care. You know. Alright, let's go and watch the tape again. God fucking Jesus Christ. Come on, out the fucking way. I'm not gonna subject you guys to it again, by the way. Not that it was bad, but it's long. I wanna see what month she says. So, it's the end of July or the beginning of August. She says both of them, which is kind of obnoxious, because it means you're gonna have to do two guesses and then probably wait another three fucking minutes. I mean, I'm only gonna have to wait. But it's July or August. What the fuck is that? That's creepy. It's July, apparently. Why Koyu? I'm guessing these are creepy headlines. I've no idea what they're saying, obviously. Uh, another horrifying incident occurred in the village which is rumoured to have made many people go missing. At the heart of the incident was a child who suddenly vanished. Following the disappearance, the child's father accused his spouse of being responsible for this tragic accident. The accusation led to severe tension within the family. After some time, the events took an even darker turn. The father, grappling with his own internal dilemmas about his wife's role in the tragedy, brutally murdered her while she slept by smashing her head with a large rock. By the way, the noise in the background is the tape still playing, that says I can't stop it. A former resident of the village, who was a child at the time of the horrific incident, spoke about the incident. After that incident, strange noises began to be heard in the village, especially in the house where the tragic event took place. During our childhood, we were warned to stay away from this house, but we were not informed about the reason. However, years later, we learned the truth. Among the villagers, there were rumours the man was still missing and that he had hidden his wife's body somewhere in the house. Beliefs emerged as strange noises were the sounds of lost souls. What are we meant to be doing here? Well... You must now go to that house and find the woman's body. After you find the body, bury it in the grave in front of the house. This will hopefully bring the woman's spirit peace and end the curse on the house. By doing this, you've removed the first curse that preventing us from leaving the village. Don't be afraid of my dog, it won't bite you. How am I supposed to do this? And where is this house? Are you kidding me? Go to the house mentioned in the note. Oh, well, I guess we're going. Dog might bite us. He said the first part of the curse, which is excellent. Can't wait to do all 27 parts. I mean, it's clearly not this one, I guess. Otherwise, I'm assuming the objective would have updated. We do have stamina, which, if there's no chases, is bad, and if there is chases, I guess it's fine. About to find out if I am pushing my luck by running all the time. When we get um, ambushed by the visitors. The house with the dog is the one we need. I heard a dog barking in the background of one of that, that, that tape as well, I think. Could be this one. The flashlight was so crap I couldn't actually tell. Alright, this isn't a real doorway, apparently. There's someone living in there. It's, it sounds like they're like cooking or some shit. If we see a grumpy papilla, we probably are at the right place. Well, this one's locked. Number three. This place is fucking massive, by the way. Walk cycling, this is fine. I always talk about the walk cycling games. It's alright. Like, it's a little f slidey and wibbly. But, there's a lot worse. 
I will say, the aesthetics of the houses with the stuff going on inside is actually pretty well done and creepy. Well, we can go in house number six, but I don't know if it's the house. Hi. Oh, we saw this house recently in, um... Oh, we hear a puppy, yeah. And then there were, uh, I'm counting to six. Or something like that it was called. Can, can you stop fucking... Can, can Excuse me. Sir. Mum. I'm not sure which, but... Hello. No idea if this is the house mentioned in the note, still. Whatever. This We saw this house in that Russian horror game. Definitely don't see anything here. Hmm. I heard the papilla. Yeah. I heard the puppy. It was like it was. It must be this house, right? A little puppy are grumbling. But the objective didn't update, so I don't know. <coughs> so this is the only part I haven't been down yet. So I'm going to follow this one for a while. Checked out all those different properties around this way, and they all seem to have nothing in them except a few scares here and there, which is fine. Um, I think this game is kind of priding itself on its lack of direction a bit. Which, in an area that's self-contained like this, isn't that big a deal. Oh, I hear more papillas. I hear a lot of papillas in this game, actually. My trip to Turkey was not a particularly positive one. I went to Istanbul for a, for a wedding, actually. And it was... just loud and full of people trying to scam me all the time and all of us. It was just bleh. I'm, I, I'm sure that isn't like a full snapshot of, uh, of Turkey as a whole. Uh, I think it's like a very much a city thing. But it's... Uh, it was pretty shite. We need a house key for this place. Got a misty path here into the fog itself. I don't know if this will kill us, but I want to kind of want to go anyway and see. Oh, there's a Naruto running hag. Holy shit! And a very loud puppy here. There's a dog here. This might be the place mentioned in the note. There were dogs in other places. There's someone in the fucking window as well. Breathing. How dare they breathe? All right, wow. Hi. I've seen this house before as well. It's interesting if a lot of these line up with the actual houses genuinely. Like, I haven't looked at the photos, so I've no idea. But a lot of these are stock assets. But I guess the internalizations of the houses could be... I guess that's her getting murdered. Could be very similar. Jesus Christ! That was actually pretty amazing. Like, I've seen this room a bunch of times before, but... I was gonna say, there's always a doll on the, on the thing there. I wonder if it's gonna be the key to the room where the body is hidden. That was fucking badass, holy shit. Did not expect that. Yeah, this is usually here as well, but with less, like, jam and stuff. 
This house is in Silent Nights. It's in one we played recently where we were like some serial killer with an axe or some shit that was pretty terrible. It's, um... Oh, what the fuck is the one? Family Curse, I want to say it was called, or something like that. Use this house. Take the body and go to the grave. Open the Quran that I gave you and read the Surah Al-Fatiha. If the curse is lifted, a white dove will come to the grave. Alright. Just like stumble down the stairs, banging her head into things on the way. I'm not quite sure where the grave is. I'm gonna make the assumption it's probably out here. Might be a bad assumption to make, to be honest with you, but you never know. Ah, uh, here we go. Convenient gravestone already pre-made, which is very nice. Read the Quran. Um, the Fatiha? I don't know anything about this. I mean, a crow. I got it wrong, I guess. Follow me. Follow the girl or go home and get an- let's go follow- we're gonna die. She's made entirely of plastic, this girl. I guess I did the wrong one. I'd, I'd have no idea what's going on there, I'm gonna be honest with you. I couldn't tell you anything about the Quran on a basic level. <clears throat> I'm guessing we're going to die here. She's got like a weird like aura around her where you can't walk too close, it just pushes you away. Which is an interesting design decision. It's fucking with my torch as well. I don't like this. I feel like I'm walking to my certain death here. I feel like uh, some of the things in it are pretty unclear in this, I will say that. Oh, it's in a house though. Which we wouldn't have found otherwise, but we're definitely on track for a bad ending, I feel. Go inside, she will tell the story. Alright, thanks. Oh, it's like a little schoolhouse? Hi. Oh, it's the guy with the gas mask from the opening. Hi. Mm, we got a little handprint. So, uh, who's telling me a story? Be good if one of you did. Oh, there we go. Oh, hi. Don't get too close, just listen. Babamla şehir alışveriş yapmaya gitmişti. We had gone to the city to shop with my father, but there was a terrible car accident. I was left wheelchair bound. My father blamed himself for that day on, dedicated his life to taking care of me. My mother was also very upset. The doctor said I would never walk again. My mother couldn't accept it. She went to that man in the village, known for his spells. She asked him for help so I could walk again. The sorcerer said there was a solution, but it required offering a sacrifice to the jinn in my place. That was the deal the jinn wanted. 
My mother had her eye on my cousin. My cousin was three years old and had lost her parents. She was an orphan girl. My father took her to our home and took care of her. My mother was blinded by her desire and took my cousin to the forest and slit her throat. She went to the sorcerer and told him she had fulfilled the agreement. The sorcerer said I would regain my health and I would walk again by midnight. My mother waited excitedly. I was approaching midnight and then there was a great event happened. The village was covered in fog. A crowd came. It was taken by the visitors. The sorcerer and many lives in the village. He keeps a spell book in the house. Go and burn that book. Do you want to lift the curse? This is what we ask of you. Did you think that placing my mother's body in the grave would bring peace to her soul? My mother had been patient and prayed to Allah. Maybe I would have been healed, but she sought a solution with the sorcerer. Yet shouldn't people ask everything from Allah? You read the Fatiha over my mother's grave, but she did not live according to what the surah means. The surah says, you alone we worship and from you alone we seek help. So who did my mother seek help from? No, I can walk, but my mother didn't see it. Because she sought help with the sorcerer and became part of the spell, her soul will suffer forever. The soul won't even accept her, but you buried her. You didn't end the curse, you increased it. Everything in this village found their punishment. This is the place where you fight with your conscience. This is the battleground of good and evil. So what side are you on, Batu? Who are you keeping here alive here for two years? They will use all their power to catch you. Remember, only the dead can leave here. Who bought you here, Batu? Have you met my cousin who was sacrificed for me? I guess we did. I read that because there was a lot. I'm also the translation's good. Like, it's, it's good. <laughs> I understand everything that's happened now. Alright, well... We got a gist of what's going on. I just learned this story. You have no choice but to try and do this. Do as the child says and burn the spell. Did you just write this on the fly? The place is infested with evil beings. You know you are going for the book. Therefore, before going there, you must strengthen and protect your spirit. Open the Quran, read the chapters of al Ikhalis, and Nas, and al Falak into your palms and wipe them over your body. I just heard the story, but I can guess where the wizard's house is. If you don't understand, I'll put a black bag at the door and there'll be a note of mine in the house. Al Ikhlas and Nas Al Falak. Ikhlas. Al Nas. Al Falak. I think I did it. I don't know. We're going to the wizard's house anyway, the house with the black bag at the door. Apparently, I think we did it right this time. I just pressed two, three, four, and then acted like it was done. But yeah, oh, there, well, there it is. It's the culture I know absolutely nothing about. Like, less than nothing. You know? Very unusual setting for a horror game, I will say. Which is good, because we need more fucking variety. I think we played a few games with gins, but not many. Oh, hi there. How you doing? Been spooky? I see, I see. I'm not quite sure what that was meant to be. Is that what a gin looks like? The only gin I know something about is like gin and tonic, you know? I thought this was actually a person for a minute. I was like, wow, this person's had a rough run of things. I do like these designs, they're creepy. <clears throat> hmm. Oh, we need to find matches and burn the spell book. Search the house thoroughly and... Got cut off. Alright, so find matches, got it. Oh, that's an eraser. Oh, what's this? Go to house number six and get the matches. Fucking hell. 
All right. House number six. Let's go. Someone's house. So it's just on the way. So okay, it's just down the road. I don't know who Hawker's house is. I guess that was the one off the beaten track. But yeah, I mean, for an indie horror game that uses pretty much stock assets, this has been decent. But I think it's a good example of how to use assets properly. I wouldn't say it's scary. Um, but it's telling a coherent story. And um, it's in a culture that we don't really see a lot of in video games. At least in Steam. I don't know if like games like this just come out in the countries that they're from. Like, I never really thought about that, but they might. But seeing, like, a, a game that isn't, like, English, Russian, or Japanese, let's say, on Steam, is pretty rare, to be honest with you, like, in terms of the lore around it. Maybe we get a few, we get a few South American games here and there. But generally, you don't get a lot. So it should be the first house down here on the left. Probably. I don't know if this map is particularly accurate, I'm going to be honest with you. Well, there's the Naruto runner again. They get very excited. You shouldn't blame them. I think it might be the house that I went to initially, with the old lady stumbling around in it. We'll soon find out when we get close enough and see some numbers anyway. I've got a feeling it's this one, but I'm not 100% sure yet. This is number four. That's number five. And this is six. Yep. So it is the one with the jump scares that we already saw. Question is, where are the matches? I wonder if they were here before. Or it's like contextual. I don't know. They definitely weren't here before. The magic must be burned in the environment. Return to the sorcerer's house, take the book and burn it. Then look at the map and come to house seven. I will leave another note for you there. All right. Okay, so seven's the one opposite the sorcerer's house. Should be easy enough to get there. I'll uh, be back with the book burning. <coughs> All right, here we are back at the wizard's house. Let's go and burn a book. Wow, if you strafe, you go really fast. I just realized that. Holy shit. Oh my god, the strafing's insane. Burning the book. Probably should leave the house. All right, now we've done that, he said go to the house opposite. House number eight, right? At least I think he said eight. Might have been seven. Can't remember. Oh yeah, the strafing is nuts. What the fuck? If we can get in here, it's the right one. If it's not, it's the one at the bottom of the hill. Oh, we can go in here. Oh wow. There's a big variety of styles to these houses, I will say. So if this is right, there should be a note somewhere in here. Well, no, please. I don't. Oh, got some tappy tappins. The 
The key of the house numbered seven. Well, there's no note, but there is a key. That actually got me a little bit. Got me a little bit. Is that what a gin looks like? I definitely don't want to leave now, I can tell you that. Fucking hell. He was a grumpy boy. Grumpy boy. The clever twist was the door wasn't actually locked, he just couldn't manage the amnesia door controls. We're leaving. Holy shit. We might have actually died then. So this is for this door house here. So is Gas Mask Guy meant to be the djinn, or is he like a servant of the djinn? God, I fucking hate these controls for the doors. Oh, brilliant. Hi! Who the fuck are you? I'm not even sure if I'm on the right track at the moment. Oh, as a note. You couldn't break the curse. You couldn't save your friend from them either. But now it's time to learn everything. Are you wondering who I am? Look at the map and come to Hodge's house. Sure. Why not? Why not? This is Hodge's house down here. I don't know if this is all... Like, I don't know if this game's got multiple endings. Or I'm just... We're just really bad at lifting cursed. Cursed. <clears throat> Number 11. Outside bathtub, very stylish. Who are you? What's your name? Hodja, my name is Batu. You know my name, you've written it on the notes, right? What are you doing here again? What do you want? Didn't I tell you not to come back here? What? I don't understand what you mean. I came to the village yesterday. I can't leave. My friend is missing. Please help me. Ah, uh, you're the new test subject. Haven't you realized yet you can't leave this village? Only the dead can leave this village. Leave the front of my house before the mad ones arrive. Don't draw them here and put me in danger. What? But the note told me to come here. Please help. Someone in the mask just left a recording for you at the tub at the back. Take it and leave here immediately. They are coming. Alright. I've left you a voice recording. Go to the watchtower in the garden in the first house. Insert this cassette in the tape recorder. Alright. I think we're a bit tired again at the moment. Our character's like. Sometimes the character runs like the wind, and other times he's like, I'm a little bit sleepy. Anyway, it's a fucking long way back to the fucking house, so uh, I'll see you there. Oh, hang on. The visitors are here. I was gonna cut away for like 10 minutes, but apparently not. I think we might be in a bit of trouble here. A spot of bother. Can't tell if we're being chased, but I'm doing the strafe anyway. It's a big fucking crescendo that was for... Fuck off. Look, I know you're dead and you had a shit time, alright, but... I've got to get back and play the fucking cassette recorder, alright? But yeah, I think I quite like this. Like, it's not perfect. 
but it is, uh, hi, more than um, adequate for a relatively cheap indie horror game. Alright, music, chill the fuck out, okay? Oh, there's ghosts up on the platform in sheets. Sheet ghosts are like the scariest ghosts because they just don't like, they got like, they just balls to the wall, not bothered by the fact, you know, by their fashion choices. That's how you know they're really intimidating because, like, they're like, I'm gonna wear a sheet even if it is cliche, and there's nothing you can do about it. After listening to the tape, oh wow. I think the acting in this is pretty decent, by the way. The tape. Başaramamışız demektir. Şunu bilmelisin ki, az sonra anlatacaklarım sana ağır gelebilir. Ben kötü biri değilim. Eğer bunları köye ilk geldiğinde anlatsaydım, aklını kaçırabilir, modlarıma odaklanamazdım. Bu köyden çıkmak için sana ihtiyacım vardı. Gaz maskeli kişiyi hatırladın mı? Her seferinde olduğu gibi, seni köyün girişinde bekledim. Ve köye girmemen için sizi korkutmaya çalıştım. Ama sen beni göremediğin için arkadaşlarına inanmadın ve yine başaramadım. Diğerleri korktu ama sen ve arkadaşın büyük bir hata yaptınız. Yukarıdaki maskeliyi gördünüz mü? Ali abi nerede? Tam şurada işte. Ya bak tam şurada çaprazda. Yukarıda oğlum dikkatli baksana. Kör musun lan görmüyor musun? Ya abi hadi yürüyün ya. Hasan abi bizi bekliyor. Birbirinizi korkutuyorsunuz burada ya. Kendini bu köye alışık hissediyor musun? Onlar seni tuzağa çekti. Sen daha önce bu köye birçok kez geldin. Hatta ağzından kaçırdı ama anlamadın. <gülüyor> tamam tamam. Ya ne kadar büyümüşsün bu kadar dinle. Sizi karşılayan Hasan adlı kişi aslında onların adamı. Görevi sizi güzel bir şekilde karşılamak ve köyü insanların yaşadığı normal bir köy olarak göstermekti. Bu büyük bir aldatmacaydı. Köyde neler yaşandığını tam olarak belki de asla anlayamayacaksın. Çünkü ben bile burada neler olduğunu bilmiyorum. Sen benim 24. denememsin. Dünya saatiyle yaklaşık 2 senedir buraya hapsoldum ve zamanda sıkıştım. Her 30 günde bir buraya getiriliyorsunuz. Çünkü daha önce yaşadıklarımı tekrar ve tekrar, tekrar ve tekrar gözlerimin önünde bana yine göstermek istiyorlar. Bana bu köyden çıkmanın umudunu verip tuzağa düşürmek istiyorlar. Beni yakalayamıyorlar. Benim pes etmemi ve onlara teslim olmamı istiyorlar. Ama ben Asla pes etmeyeceğim. Pozitif gücü yenemeyecekler. Peki ben kim miyim? <gülüyor> Biliyorum. Şu an çok şaşkınsın. He's you. Anlattıklarımı anlayamıyorsun. I mean, it doesn't make any sense what he's saying. Biliyorken, senin beni neden göremediğini ve neden gaz maskesiyle dolaştığımı anlamaya çalışıyorsun. Anlayamadığın bir diğer şey de. Sesimin sesine neden bu kadar çok benzediği? Bu bir benzerlik değil. Bu gerçeğin ta kendisi Batu. Evet, şu an kendi sesini duyuyorsun. Çünkü ben senin. Bu köye asla gelmeyin. I have absolutely no idea what happened at the end, but overall I thought this was pretty good. I'm gonna give this one. 
Because of the sheer effort put in with the extra FMV sequences and the story and the acting was actually good, I'm going to give it a 6.5 out of 10. It is a decent way to spend an hour, and I quite liked it. So anyway, that was Why the Village, and that was two horror games. I hope you enjoyed both of them. If you did, remember to leave a like on the video, even if you didn't leave a like, and let me know what you thought of both of them in the comment section. It's really important you do that, guys. It helps out so much to get more likes and comments on the video. If you enjoy what you see here, consider pledging to our Patreon. There's a link in the description. If you are interested, go and have a look. It is the lifeblood of this channel. It's how we keep making content here. Five bucks and up allows you to vote and nominate on the long plays that we do here, which I think a lot of you would enjoy getting involved with. But there's other cool rewards. You can even commission us to do a full-length playthrough of a game that you'd like to see. There's a link in the uh, Patreon for that too if you want to check that out. Lots of cool stuff. Go have a look and hopefully become a patron. If we uh, hit our goal this month, we're going to be looking back at anime classic horror game White Chamber over on Patreon, which I think is... A game that I haven't played for over 10 years, and it would be awesome to play again. We currently need, I think, about 15 more subs this month to do that on our Patreon. So go check it out. Even if you pledge a dollar, that helps towards the goal, and you get access to it as well. Thank you for listening, everyone, and um, hope you enjoyed the video. Goodbye, and see you really soon.